Today is a very special day. Hello everyone, and today we're going to be talking about the saviour of the Northeast. A man so buff, he puts the cob in the carbrini. I tell you what, this Bobby Dazzler doesn't need me to introduce him. Go on kid, introduce yourself. Hello you little dynamics, it's your uncle Buzzcocks here. Flippin' Buzzcocks. So use your finger clickers to hit the like button and smash 200 likes on this video. Now let's get into the video. Now. Some would say our little Buzzcocks is a fashion icon up on the northeast. So I bet you've seen the big YouTubers such as Will and E wearing his Tommy Hilfiger or Marcus Butler wearing a Ralph Lauren. Then you land on this channel where all I've got to offer is a fake stutty snapback that costs us a bloody quid off eBay because I ran out of bloody wax for me hair and a bloody Primark t-shirt which looks like it's just been bloody tried on by bloody Godzilla. So right now you're probably thinking, come, this gentleman has introduced himself and you said he's a fashionable fella. But but how can us, the viewers, be like them? Good question. Step number one to becoming Buzzcocks. You've got to be a freaking lyrical genius. And I'm going to answer the question on how to be him by showing you one of his many masterpieces. I'm going to show you his most famous track that he ever made. Beautifully named, Smash Your Pasty. Now brace yourselves, because I don't think he's talking about the pasties you can get for two for one in Greg's. Oh, uh, yeah, mate. Have a word. Your mum's got a baldy head and still collects 40 stickers. Step number two to becoming the legendary Buzzcocks. You've got to know how to survive in the wild. And you all thought that Buzzcocks was limited to his musical genius. And that's where you are wrong. He's a born survivor. Scrap bare grills and drinking your own wee. Listen to a young gun like this man offering his advice. Follow your uncle Buzzcocks and I'm going to teach you how to be absolutely the purest, bestest combat out in the world and how to purely understand everything about survival. No bother kid, we all believe in you. Show us what you've got. Next you need to start thinking about building a den. Loads of people say, yeah, why do you want to build a den like that again? Yeah man, I'll tell you why. Who? Chill your cell out son. I reckon all of us can build a den. What would you say to that? Loads of people come to me and say this. Yeah boss cocks, I know how to build a den again. Do you how you will it? Like yeah man, I got these like little bits of daft stuff and I put them up between. I went, yeah come here. I went, fuck off you little daft cunt. That's not how you build a den, man. I'll tell you how you build a den. How are you then? Show us what you'll do if I'll enter your den. Yeah, man. That's how the police helicopter that me and Trek that shot down, man, a couple of months ago. We've stood that up against there and we went. Anyone who comes near this, we will fucking slice your fucking heat off with that. Step number three. You've got to be able to pull any girl you want. Don't just take my word for it. Let Buzzcox show you how to groove in the club to capture your prey. Nah, surely that's got to be a criminal offence, what he just did there. But if you go out with Buzzcox girls, don't expect a text back. So stop fucking bothering us and all that, and go on. Yeah, uh, if you even come on soon, I'm not going to watch your videos anymore. You can stop watching me videos, you little spugger. I'll find out where your hoose is, burn the fucker out, and nick all your fucking computer games. <laughs> and if you follow his advice, and you manage to go out with one of your mate's moms, Buzzcox shows you how to wind your mate up. There's a few ways of doing this. Trekker here rubs his fingers and fish fingers all night, then goes soon into the game, and whoever's marking Trekker, he just goes up and says, yeah, I walked your mom home last night from the bingo, and the lad goes, do you need yeah, sniff that in the lag gun. Will you probably put me in none of that sly as fuck? And just like that, it's the end of the bloody video. And if your mum or dad says, Pooh, daughter, or son of mine, we're gonna go to Newcastle on holiday, you'll see a lot of your uncle Buzzcocks floating about. And if you've watched this far, it would be absolutely mint if you could click the like button down below, as that really helps me out. See if you can pass 200 likes for this video, which would be absolutely bloody nuts. And if you're new, drop a subscribe down below, because that'll upload quite often, and it'll stop you from being bored. And leave a comment introducing yourself to us just if you want and guys I uploaded a video proper late last night because me cheap man's Wi-Fi decided to go on a bloody walk about so go and check that out if you've missed it I'll leave the link in the description and I basically tell you how to not pass your driving test Also remember to keep your Q&A questions coming in There's been absolutely load of wicked questions getting messaged to us and commented down below So get yours in fast because I'm gonna be recording the video soon just to get your social media page a shout out And if you're watching on Facebook guys, please click the share button because that also helps me out so much. Thank you. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you very soon. Called your theory test. And you're going to turn up at this building, which let's say is a bit like the old naked man at the gym. It's not big, certainly not clever, and you don't really want to enter it. 